Today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition is on the Cabinet of the United States. Visit PragerUKids.com to download this sweet worksheet and play along. This is Street Smarts, a game show on the streets where contestants are rewarded for their knowledge. Street Smarts! Awesome job, awesome job. Welcome back to another episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... You to the N to the C-L-E, that's right, you know it's me, it's Uncle Sam, and we're here at Lancaster Baptist School to see what kids know about the cabinet of the United States. We're gonna do a library takeover. Let's go. All right, let's go ask some kids some questions. Woo! Here are the rules. There are a total of eight questions. Each correct answer is worth $5. But the final question is worth $20. If someone is stuck on a question, they can pay Uncle Sam $2 for a clue, or they can pay him $5 to ask for help from a friend or a parent. Now, once someone answers incorrectly, that is it. They are eliminated. However, the good news is they get to keep all the cash that they earned up to that point. Who do we have here today? Delaney. 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 Keith. Diego. Bennett. Erat. Erat. Gideon. 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 Anastasia. Anastasia. Delaney is ready to win the money. The money. Uh -huh. Delaney, yeah. the money. Question one. What is the main purpose of the cabinet of the United States? A, to build the president's furniture. B, to fold the president's clothes. Or C, to advise the president. C, to advise the president. Oh. That is correct. C, to advise the president. C, to advise the president. Woo. Correct, the mundo. C, to advise the president. Woo. That is correct. Ooh, there you that are. Oh, correct. almost lost you. No, don't worry, don't worry. Uncle Sam will pay his fair share. <laughs> Good, I want to make sure. He never does. <laughs> can I get a clue? Of course you can. Mm. This is another way of saying the president consults with the cabinet. C, to advise the president. Woo! That is correct. That is correct. The $5 thief. Diego, who is your favorite historical figure? It's George Washington. George Washington. Ooh, you you ready to George... earn some more George Washingtons? Ooh. <laughs> yes, he is. Question two, true or false? Cabinet members are in the line of presidential succession if the president dies, is removed from office, or cannot serve. True. True as can be! As true as can be, and there's five more for you, good nice. sir. False. Um, true. True is correct. That is true. Yes, and give him you a try. get all Another of these one. dollar Another bills. One. True. True that is true, correct. and another <laughs> five for you. Wow. <laughs> now, was that a guess, or did you know that? Uh, both. Yeah, both. <laughs> I don't think I really good. know it. <laughs> Question three. Which president was largely responsible for creating the United States' first cabinet, a group that included both Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson? Can I get a clue? Can I buy a clue? I'll take two George Washingtons for this clue. He can be found on the $1 bill and the quarter. George Washington. Yes! As a matter of yes. fact, it is George it is Washington, George and there's five more dollars nice. for you, Diego. George Washington. Didn't even yes. need to look at his $1 bill. <laughs> there is a $5 for you, sir. May I ask for help? May I ask for help? Absolutely. Yeah. It would be George Washington. George Washington? Speaking Bingo. of George Washington, there's all your Washingtons back. Good nice. sir. Oh, oh, the little... <laughs> Little one fell away. All right. Do you have anything to say? Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> well, what about? Hold on. What about to? And thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Bennett to win it. Bennett to win it. Bennett to win it. Bennett to win it. Question four. He Here it. it is. I can tell. All right. Which founding document of the United States lays the groundwork for the president's cabinet without actually mentioning it by name? A, Declaration of Independence, B, Pledge of Allegiance, or C, Constitution of the United States? C, Constitution. Bam. That's correct. Just take, it. Just take it from me. Is it A, Declaration of Independence? Unfortunately, that is not correct. Could I have a clue, please? Of I'll course you can. I'll take two for a clue. 
this document begins with the words, we the people, which founding document of the United States lays the groundwork for the president's cabinet without actually mentioning it by name. See Constitution of the United States. Uh, see what you did there. Correct. You got another five, Delaney. Go to Delaney. Go to Delaney. Go to Delaney. Do the money dance. Do the money dance. What grade are you in again? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. And this guy is just knocking them out. And who's wow. your history teacher? Miss Wise. Miss, Miss Wise. Wise. I see you're a very wise teacher. Wise. Right, question five. George Washington's first cabinet had four members. Over time, the number of cabinet members has A, increased, B, decreased, or C, stayed the same. Have another clue. Mm. Of course you can. Some departments that were eventually added include the Department of Agriculture, the Department of the Interior, and the Department of Homeland Security. A increase. Another that two for five. Is. That was a great that investment, is. Anastasia. A increased. A correct. is correct. correct. And another five for you, good nice sir. Nice job. I'll get help from an adult. All right. Okay. I would say A increased but I'm gonna leave it up to you. You're the smart fifth grader here. <laughs> leave it up to you. You wanna agree with mom? Yes. Give it to Yeah, nice! A increased. Both. That Speaking is of increase, another five you in just increased your five dollar five. counts. Well five. done, Delaney. Thank you. Or should I say, the money. The money. The money. The money. <laughs> Two ways from big one. Question six. The cabinet is often made up of the heads of executive departments and are given the title of A, secretary, B, manager, or C, coach. Can I have a clue? Yes. This title comes from a Latin word meaning keeper of secrets. B, manager. Unfortunately, that would not, not be correct. correct. But hey, you made it this yeah. far, Anastasia. Well done. Yeah. Woo. Woo. High Good five. Job. Oh, don't leave Uncle Sam hanging. No, yeah. A secretary? A is correct. A secretary. Oh. A secretary? Yes. He doesn't even need these yes. clues. Oh, nice. my goodness. Goodness sure gracious. Sure you don't want to give Uncle Sam just $2 out of pity? Um... Yes. No, that's so kind. <laughs> wow, you don't have to do that. Sweet. You don't have to do that. Uncle Sam has enough money. <laughs> What's up? Just learning. What you learning about? I'm learning about a hero for our time. The intimate story of the Kennedy years. You know, it kind of reminds me of our uh, question seven. Question seven. Which major event brought the US and the Soviet Union close to nuclear war and involved important contributions from cabinet members during President John F. Kennedy's administration? A, invasion of Normandy, B, Cuban Missile Crisis, or C, Gulf of Tonkin Incident? Uh, I'll get a clue. Of course. This event occurred when the Soviet Union installed nuclear weapons on this island south of Florida. B, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah! Here comes the $5 yeah! missile into your hand! Nice! B, the Cuban Missile Crisis. That is Bam! correct. B, the Cuban Missile Crisis. That is Good correct. Be correct. B, Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh, she didn't even want to buy a clue. She There's did it. Five. She did it. Wow. She got it. The money got the money. <laughs> the the money. money got the money. The money got the money. Woo, woo, woo. Opposite his chair in the cabinet room. Oh, uh, cabinet room. Cabinet. He put a model of one of the new aircraft carriers, the America. America. What time is it? What time is it? Huh? Wait, it's time for the f -f 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 final question. No, 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 no. Final question worth $20. The president has the power to appoint members of the cabinet but they must be approved by this legislative body. Mm. House of Representatives. Oh, so oh, close. Yes, very close. You were on the right yes. track. The judges? Unfortunately, the judges is not, not correct. correct. Congress. 
Unfortunately. That is not correct. But yes. you did so well, you made it all the way to the end. Yes, Give it up for Bennett. Woo! The president has the power to appoint members of the cabinet, but they must be approved by this legislative body. The Senate. Oh! Goodness, I knew you had to do it. You reached down deep into your knowledge base and you pulled out the Senate. Well done, Delaney. Wow. That is so awesome. You truly are the money. <laughs> Street smart! <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, you guys did so well. During the Constitutional Convention, the framers discussed creating a presidential advisory body similar to the King's Privy Council in Great Britain, who gave the King advice on state matters. This idea, however, was shelved and the final constitution does not mention a cabinet. It only states that the president has the power to appoint executive department heads, subject to the Senate approval, and that he may require their opinion on subjects relating to the duties of their offices. President George Washington, who is largely responsible for the creation of the first cabinet, consulted with them as a group, solidifying them as the official cabinet of the United States. For much of early American history, the Cabinet of the United States provided advice to the president. Many of the biggest presidential decisions in history, like the creation of the National Bank and the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, were made after much debate within the cabinet. Throughout the 20th and so far the 21st century, the cabinet has become less of a collective advisory group and more of a government management group. The cabinet is currently made up of 25 individuals, which include the vice president, the head of 15 executive departments, such as the Department of Agriculture, as well as heads of other agencies, like the Environmental Protection Agency and the Office of Science and Technology Policy. Additional officials include the White House Chief of Staff and the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Cabinet members have played important roles in the successes and failures of administrations and have contributed to many presidential decisions throughout history. The cabinet is also in the presidential line of succession. After the VP, Speaker of the House, and President pro tempore of the Senate, the next cabinet member in line to the presidency is determined by the order in which their department was created, beginning with the Secretary of State and ending with the Secretary of Homeland Security. Fun fact! During the State of the Union addresses, when most officials in the line of succession are in attendance, presidents select a designated survivor, usually a member of the cabinet, to stay at an undisclosed location to make sure that, in the event of a massive attack on the government, a new president will be in place, ensuring continuity of government operations. The cabinet works closely with the president to help him make important decisions and plays an important role in the presidential line of succession. Hey, thank you to all our contestants for participating in today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with Uncle Sam. And, and a big shout out. Thank you to Lancaster Baptist School for letting us come film here today. It's been a blast and a half. We hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. What are you talking about? I'm taking mine. What? <laughs> Unfortunately, A it is, is not, not correct. correct. It's not the appendant. The the, <laughs> no, it's definitely not that, Selena. I'm feeling broke. That's what I'm feeling. Delaney. <laughs> the money I, isn't feeling broke. The, money. the money's just making more of the money. Hey, hey, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned a lot. You know we have more, right? PragerU Kids is devoted to teaching what most schools aren't, our American values, history, and blessings. Watch more at PragerUKids.com. And parents, don't forget to subscribe.